Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. When we last left off, we went off to an Alluvian place. Um, and now we defeated some spirits, got some cool items, and uh, now we're going to open a door and see where this goes. Oh, oh god, my arm's opening it. A wolf's welcome. A wash of powerful magic carries an impression of welcome. Images flash by. Elven slaves fleeing to this place in ancient times. Greeted by others who then tend to their wounds. Words are not so much heard as felt. Fenharel bids you welcome. Rest, knowing the Red Wolf guards you and his people guard this Platt Valley. In this place you are free again. In trusting us you will never be bound again. Okay. That was like Veilfire. It claimed this was a refuge for elven slaves. You mean the ancient elves kept slaves? Maker's breath. One more thing never to tell Daisy. This whole valley was a sanctuary created by the dread wolf, Fen Harel. Fen Harel? The Dalish elves god of misfortune? Yep. Should be whack, yo. Should be whack. Alright, another mirror. In we go. Into the abyss, where we will find, I don't know, maybe... Maybe the answer to the life. Another platform. Yay. Right, this one is broken. And then that alluvian only took us a short distance. That's the same lake we saw from the other tower. Good for moving around a city, visiting friends, deploying guards. I guess. Kind of an annoyance though. Also, there's something here, but I don't What the oh, whoops. That was me, I accidentally pressed the button. So I guess it's something... There's like, supposed to be something here, but I don't see anything. I guess I'll just go up and then I'll just guess. Ooh, bird for a dragon. A bunch of people on... ...deers. Uh... Huh. Cuts all over the back. He was killed by surprise. This can't have happened too long ago. The blood's not even dry. Well, I mean, we did just see people disappear right in front of our eyes, so, you know, maybe that has something to do with it? Oh, I can see something. Ah, oh, it's up there. Okay. That makes sense now. Go away, mouse. In. Here we go again. What a change of pace from the Winter Palace. A clear sky, a beautiful view, and yes, fields and fields of stripweed as far as the eye can see. Stripweed. Terrible stuff. Looks like grass stings like a knife and causes sores if you so much as brush against it. So, of course, everyone in Menrathus insists it makes a very decent tea. Huh. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can land on this. Yeah! It's... it's gold. I thought it was an actual item that would be useful, but no, it's gold. <sighs> there it goes. Okay, uh, have a look around a bit more just in case. You never know, they might be like, oh, there's some stuff. In fact, it's got something to say now. So? We're getting the band back together. That's exciting. Don't tell me the Viscount of Kirkwall misses skulking around and shooting people. You've never been to the Viscount's keep, have you, Sparkler? Spend two hours there and you'll be glad to be shot at. Huh. I guess that's it. I mean, the other the bad guys disappeared, so I guess I'll just open the door. Bunch of elves and a wolf head. 
The wash powerful, a man in wolf skin, standing with a group of freed slaves, clasping one's arm in friendship, oh, words are not so much heard as felt. Fenharel has been falsely named a god, but is immort as mortal as any of you. He takes no divine mantle and asks that none be disposed of disposed uh, bestowed upon him. He leads only those who help would help willingly. Let none be beholden but by choice. This is Ben Harrell helping former slaves as a mortal, not a god. Kinda curious that this guy had to specify he wasn't a god. Ordinary guy saves people, accidentally founds religion. Sounds a lot like the chant, actually. Ben Harrell sounds like quite the rebel. The old elven gods must have simply loved that. Yeah, do you, Dorian, would probably get along fine with him then. Also, I'm now going underground. Someone dropped a torch. Another canary. How in the hell did you get down here? You even have you even have to have my power in order to open it. Looks like three jewels and a thing. The lives of the Evanaris. Um, elven mages enslaving tens of thousands, making arrogant proclamation proclamations of godhood. Words are not so much heard as felt. The gods are oh, oh, uh, the gods are Evanaris claim divinity, yet they are naught but mortals, powerful in magic, who can die as you can. In this place, we teach those who join us to unravel their lives. Okay. This claims the elven gods were just Evanaris, powerful but completely mortal mages. Whoever ran this place was trying to rebuild the slaves' confidence, get rid of old propaganda. If that's true, Fen Harrell was teaching these freed slaves the truth about these false gods. Huh. So he doesn't sound too bad, but you never know with these situations. It'll probably end up being, oh, but then he became corrupted by power and... Oh! Whoa! What's going on? Anchor discharge. The, di the anchor now automatically generates focus over time. Discharge the accumulated focus with left trigger and left stick. Discharging the anchor makes your party briefly invulnerable. What? The anchor also grows brightly for a short time, letting dark, lighting dark areas and revealing objects hidden there. What? I what? Why couldn't I have had that in the main game? That sounds awesome. And it makes it makes it more fun because at the moment I just have the thing that closes rifts and it makes a portal and then now also deflects arrows, and now can also do this. Ah. You all right, boss? Felt like the anchor stung me. Oh boy. This looks like it fits into that pedestal by the broken bridge. Well, seeing as I can automatically generate it, I'll just do this. Take it, you get this close to a mage like me, you get stuck. Explosions everywhere. Ooh. So, guy with bow, spire, and then a thing, a tower with another tree, whatever that is. I'm probably going to have to do this loads of area. I'm glowing. My eyes were glowing, I mean. That's cool. All part of the package. Yep. Don't worry, it's fine. Also, my mark seems to be leaving a trail now. And constantly glowing. 
rather than sparking and acting as though it's some sort of random thing on my whatever. So I guess I head back, return to the waiting statue in the bridge. Okay. Oh boy. That is a cool ability though. And it charges over time. I could have used that during the main part of the game. Why'd I have to wait until the DLC? It should have just been an ability that was added. Because, you know, it, to be honest, the mark was rather underdeveloped. Even though it's his thing that closes rifts, it doesn't do much else. It opens... It closes fade rifts, and then I got the ability to, over my own, to do damage to enemies. But that was it. Now I can friggin' deflect arrows, and friggin' illuminate things. So, yeah. Hmm, I wonder if this thing actually gets rid of those blue flames I've been seeing around. Ba ba bum bum ba 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 bum ba bum. <sighs> Here we go. Yo. Well, the battle over there is done. Is it like a bridge coming up? Yeah. Covered in seaweed. Canary. Um, hello. Looks like you kind of got your asses kicked. Kunari! Well, here we go. I'll head up here, guys. The Inquisition doesn't leave alive. Yeah, this isn't helping. I need to get down there. More of them. There you go, dead. What's up here? Not much. Also, dramatic music. Hello. As that leads inside, I want to have a look around before I head inside. This just is this is this song is just sort of reminding me of Lord of the Rings, <laughs> to be honest. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. Or in this case, we're following the Canari to wherever. Also, is that a, a yellow holler? <laughs> okay, so it looks like I go up there later anyway. So. Oh, Silverite. A bit random. But I'll take it. Uh, 
Hello, looks like someone's been here already. And it looks like to be a normal person. Also, my controller's vibrating as though I'm hitting things, but I'm not doing anything. Prophet's Laurel. And now I get seeds! Right now I'm just I'm just continually getting profit laurels. Let's just head inside and deal with the canary before the things get weird. I'm also gonna save. I don't think it's that one, it's this one I save over. Yeah, this one, because this one's the furthest away. Hello! Don't do that. Good news. Canary could have been here for a while, seeing as there's bunk beds and things. They might have uncovered something by accident. Where you going? Battle, I guess, yes. But also to kick butt. When you get close, you gotta blow up, so. Kills him! your spears at me. Just die already. God. Why did those Kunari attack the Inquisition on sight? No idea. They weren't Talvashoth, though. This might be a rogue group, but they think they're following the Kuhn. This looks like some sort of prayer room, maybe? Which would be a bit weird if the Fenhral's like, Oh no, don't worship me, I'm not a god. I'm a man, not a god. Come on, comrades. <laughs> I'm also going to put this on just in case. Sigil of Philandris. Oh, yay! Sigils, which are actually really crap and useless, and I hate them all. There we go. Hello. 
The Dread Wolf keeps its gaze on the one light that illuminates the way forward. Ah, so obviously he's looking here. So this one. Now I'll have a look around first. Okay. That's Van Harel. Removing the face markings from a Dalish elf? Isn't this place older than the Dalish? Maybe the markings used to have a different meaning? Ah. Interesting. Okay, then. No, I don't need this, because I can just make them. So, he's looking at this one. I, mean, I guess I'll take it, just in case. Got it! Arrowwood! Whatever that is. What's this? It's a secret underground bunker. Alright, Arrowwood. The, uh, an old Syrian tale speaks of an archer named Arrowwood who traded his heart to the spirit of an oak grove to become the greatest archer in the world. He conquered a hundred keeps and slew the west wind with arrows that, once loosed, could never be stopped. Finally, Arrowwood shot the sun from the sky, turning day to night, and the Gothi send a messenger to seek out the Witch of the Arbor Wilds. Depending on the story's version, the messenger never found the witch and dealt with a demon instead, worked for the witch and her daughters for a year and a day, or made a bargain with the Lady of the Skies. In all tellings, the messenger received a coil of fine silk, travelled to Arrowwood's keep, and secretly replaced the archer's bowstring with the magic silk. When the Arrowwood tried to draw the bow, his heart shattered and he crumbled into dust. The Gothi found his bow in an iron case and buried it in Nana Shin marshes so that no one would ever use it again. Huh. Okay. Oh, there's another one of these. Uh, sensation, sensation of determination. Former slaves in ranks with Fen Harel, armed with unstrong, their skin is clear, their face tattoos. The Elven Valacin are gone. Words are not so much heard as felt. The brand of the Ebonaris can be lifted from you, that all may know you'll oppose their cruelties. None here are slaves. All are under our protection, all may choose to fight. Okay. Hidden weapons. These freed slaves actually fought back against the Evanuris posing as gods. Interesting word, Evanuris. If all it means is mage leader, well, they were basically magisters. Great. Oh man. Wait a minute. Iron Bolt, I think I have something for you. I'm gonna save it first because usually we're. I can do it, but it might break the game, so I'm just going to save just in case. I did the wrong one. I meant to do... Where is it? There we go. That's the one I wanted. Sigil of the Tusket. Oh great, I did that for a sigil. Guess we just keep going down. Oh, 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 let me in. <laughs> I want, I want what's in there. Moonstone, okay. You want to send that?
kills him out. I don't know if you're a dumbass or what, but you're just sort of walking into the traps. Canary Orders, single incarnation. This letter is written in both Quinlat and the Commandant. I have read your report. Station your people in the abandoned Elven Towers by the lake. It is a short distance from its entrance to the mirror that connects to Halam Shirel. We will need the space to lodge our people after infiltration is complete. There is a map of the crossroads at the bottom with an arrow from the Elven Alluvi ruins Alluvian to the Alluvian that leads to the Winter Palace. This letter says the Kunari came to these ruins because the Alluvians connect to Halam Shirel. So they're aiming for the Winter Palace. It was some sort of infiltration. There's no more details. Uh, this is crazy. They're acting like we're at war. Are they? I don't know, boss. I wish I did. Note regarding the wolf statue. Remember, if you wish to move the statue, light the second sconce on the left as you face the wolf's head. Use the blue-green flame in the brazier. Blue-green? It's just green. It is magic, but it will not harm you. Remember your duty to the queue. When your lights are sconce, a box clutched in the middle, statue's paws will open. There will be an item inside. Do not touch it. It is old and elven. We will have Cerebaz examine it for magic when time comes. Okay. Well, I've already sort of touched it, so... I guess you're wrong on that right then. Can I do anything with this? Because I want to get that thing. Oh, chest. In the chest is emerald. Okay. <coughs> an unknown agent. This gore splattered letter was written in both Quinlat and Common Tongue. Two hours ago, an unknown intruder penetrated our defenses, masked and cloaked a mage, used magic to awaken spirits and turn them against us. Intruder moved as if they knew this place, fled after spirits awoke, dozens dead, spirits keep attacking, engagement not recur. The rest of the letters are eligible, the blood is still wet. A note about an unknown intruder coming through an alluvian. They turned spirits against us, then fled. It must be a mage. They killed any Kunari in the way and let the spirits do the rest. Two parties, then. The Kunari and a mystery agent determined to stop them. Interesting. I also picked up a weapon. In Ravain, they tell of a spirit of courage who pinned pined for a mortal life and eventually found a doorway through which he could enter the waking world and be human. But if he returned to the Fade, he would never again leave. On the first day of his new life, he rediscovered the joy of leaping through the air, with no idea that he should fear harm. He flung himself across streams, over fences, and finally across a deep can canyon, and plummeted to his death. Some versions of the tales claim that the spirit found his way back across the Vale in a different form. A blade, a bucket, sometimes a ball of twine, but he never lost his love of leaping. Okay, a bit weird, but whatever. And uh, it's not as strong, but I'm assuming that if I put a thing on it, it will be really good. I mean, a room. We have to warn people about the Kunari's designs on the Winter Palace. Update Liliana on the Winter Palace. I will, but first I want to check something on that thing. Okay, so I can't open it yet. I can open it later, though, so I have to come back later to get whatever's in there. Also, I think I missed something, so I'm going to have to head back up and uh, try and find that. Um, apparently, I'm supposed to look for a tree stump, and there should be a corpse there, and I should loot the corpse, and the corpse should have some sort of uh, item for a uh, codex entry. So... Right. It should be on the west side, I believe it said. So. Wait, is it literally down here? Silverite. Office laurel. Silverite. This is just a little alcohol area. But there should be a stump near the water, and it should have a Kunari corpse <laughs> near it. So, and apparently it says if I see a golden harler, I've gone too far. So, you know, that's the golden harler. Should be a trump, a trump, a stump. 
<laughs> Trump. What the hell? A stump. There's a body nearby. This might be it. I mean, it's not a stump, but it looks important, I guess. Can I not get up? Profits Laurel. Uh, what I'll do is that I'll pause and then um, when you next see me I'll probably be near the area. Ah, guys, I think I found it. It's this thing here, I believe. Here we go. Chard note. A note torn from a large page. The paper is charged at the edges. Struck the tower, a great sizzling bolt out of the blue sky. Out afterwards, spirits emerged from a statue of a wolf as if the lightning woke them. And they appeared to be looking for someone. The only word I understood was Sven Harel. They did not see me, but beware, for they attack any guards who... Ah. Okay, interesting. And then there's some Philandris, which I'm fine with. But, I think that'll be it for now. I'll start making my way back to the place, but I believe we're finished. Everything else has been collected. we just got to go and update Liliana. Um, I'm just going to check, see... Yeah, just update. So we're going to head back to that mirror underground, and in the next episode we'll go tell her what's happened, what's going on, and then uh, try and sort everything out. Until then, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Um, if you like what I do and you want to support me, you can go to the description. There's a link to my Patreon there. Anything you can donate there will be a great help. It'll improve the channel, get me to make more videos. And, you know, people will get benefits as well. Like, maybe secret, secret videos you get yourself, or updates about what I'm going to do in the future. And, you know, if we get ended up getting really successful, we'll end up doing things like events and, like, giveaways and stuff like that. But uh, for now, thank you all for watching again, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. See ya!